Hi there. This short video highlights some of the features of the article search tool Scopus that will help you find and access an original research article using clues you gather from other sources, like newspaper and magazine articles. You can access Scopus from several locations on the LAD Library homepage, including the Article Indexes button. Links to Scopus are also provided in several locations on the Chemistry 107 Library Guide. That's where we'll start. However, before we can use Scopus to search, we will need to gather some clues that can point us to an original article. The best clue would be the title of the original article. Typically, these are unique and distinctive, something like development of potent inhibitors of procyanin production in Pseudomonas aeruginosa. That sounds pretty unique. A search of this title in Scopus using the article title field locates the bibliographic information required to access the article. From this result, we now know the authors, the title of the journal the paper was published in, and the date of publication for the article. There is even a Bates link button that we can select to provide access to the paper, either via direct download, or if Bates does not have immediate access, via interlibrary loan. Unfortunately, newspaper and magazine articles rarely provide the full title of primary scientific articles. However, a good reporter will provide enough clues for us to find the original paper. Let's look at a newspaper article as an example. Here is one about advances in carbon-60 fullerene molecules, better known as buckyballs, from 1995, published in the New York Times. This newspaper article notes that early attempts to study buckyballs were limited due to a lack of carbon-60 for study. It goes on to state this limitation was solved by a method of carbon-60 synthesis developed by Drs. Donald Huffman and Wolfgang Kratzmer in 1990. Common clues include things like the names of the authors, the title of the journal where the article was published, the subject of the research, and the article publication date. Something like this was almost definitely significant enough to be included in a primary research article. Let's use Scopus and the clues we've gathered to see whether we can find this original article. Start by selecting the Scopus link from the Tips for Finding a Specific Article on the Chemistry 107 Library Guide. Next, let's use the option to search for specific authors to find a paper that has both Donald Huffman and Wolfgang Kratzmer as authors. Using Scopus, the syntax for author names is last name followed by a comma and the first initial of the first name. So here, we enter Huffman, comma, D, and Kratzmer, comma, W. We also suspect that the original paper was published in the year 1990, or shortly after. So let's limit our search results to the range 1990 to 1993. With these clues entered, let's search. Our results show six papers fitting our search criteria. We are probably looking for the first paper in this group. The subsequent papers probably follow up on this initial work. Let's sort these results by date, starting with the oldest. To do this, select the Sort On option in the upper right portion of the results page and choose Date Oldest. The first paper in this date sorted results list is titled Solid Carbon 60, A New Form of Carbon. We see the paper was published in the prestigious journal Nature and that it has been cited more than 6,000 times since publication. Wow, that's a lot of citations. This is probably an important paper. We can read the abstract for the paper by selecting the View Abstract link. From this abstract, it looks to be the paper mentioned in the New York Times article. We found it. Now we can read the article and complete our assignment. 